Our other top story tonight, the suspect in Saturday night's fatal shooting in downtown Spokane made his first appearance today. Michael Lee now facing a charge of second degree murder for the shooting death of 22 year old Jacoby Ford. Ford's mother and sister were also in court today. Krem 2's Ian Smay attended the hearing as well. He joins us live from the newsroom tonight with more on what unfolded. Ian? Yeah, good evening. Michael Lee's bail was set at $1 million today by a Spokane County District Court judge. Court documents from a previous incident between Lee and Jacoby Ford are also shedding light on previous threats Lee had made against Ford. Ford's mother referenced those threats today in court, while asking the judge to not allow Lee to be released as he awaits trial for allegedly killing her son. Michael Lee made his first appearance today as he faces second-degree murder charges for the killing of Jacoby Ford. Ford's mother gave an emotional plea to the judge, don't let Lee out before trial. I'm just really hoping that he doesn't get out just because he doesn't have any, anything since 09. You know, I mean, he took my son, my only son, and he planned it. The judge decided to set Lee's bond at $1 million, which the defense argued Lee wasn't likely going to be able to pay. Lee is charged for allegedly shooting Jacoby Ford. Ford was a graduate of Shadle Park High School, where he was a star athlete in basketball and track and field. In fact, he had won the Hoop Fest dunk contest in 2019, and in 2017, became the first athlete since 1967 to win the long jump, triple jump, and long jump events at the USA Track and Field Junior Olympics. On Saturday night, his life was cut short outside of a downtown Spokane bar, where court documents say witnesses reported Lee shot Ford four times. But that wasn't the first time there was an altercation between Lee and Ford. Lee is involved in another court case for second-degree assault and harassment after threatening to kill Ford in February. Court documents say Lee was angry with Ford because he was dating a woman who Lee had a child with. Court documents say Lee sent Ford threats of violence, including, I'm putting one in your head and I'm shooting you. Lee then allegedly confronted Ford and his girlfriend as they were leaving her apartment complex, attacking Ford's girlfriend with a knife before bystanders stepped in to protect her. Ford's mother referenced the altercations and threats as she asked the judge to not let Lee out of jail. I would just ask that you don't release him on his own recognizance by threatening messages that he was going to shoot my son. My daughter was there and witnessed the whole thing. He's been planning this for some time. In court documents related to Saturday's shooting, Ford's sister, who was at the bar, said Lee approached Ford in that bar, acting like he was taking photos or videos of Ford. After Ford's group and Lee went outside, court documents say she told police it appeared they were going to fight. Then. Lee allegedly turned away from Ford before turning back and firing the fatal shots. Now, as part of that earlier assault and harassment case, Lee was ordered to surrender any firearms or deadly weapons. Second degree murder is a class A felony in Washington, meaning if Lee is found guilty, he could face life in prison. In the newsroom, Ian Smay, Creme 2 News.